nine of us who escaped. Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. The only movie review show where the critics get to shove each other. Why would you do that? Because <laughs> you can't. Ben Magnus, Turner Classic <laughs> Movies, Christy Lemire, Associated Press, and Ebert Presents at the Movies, and uh, uh, Alonzo Duralde from uh, Movie Line. Yeah, Howdy. Alonzo's here. Number one was killed in Malaysia. Number two was murdered in England. Number three was hunted down in Kenya. I am number four. Alex Pettifer is number four. Uh, he is one of a group of aliens that survived the conquest of their home planet, and now those uh, conquerors are tracking down the uh, survivors on Earth, and they've gotten rid of numbers one, two, and three, and uh -oh. so Alex Pettifer is on the chopping block. Before they come for the others, they'll come for me. I am number four. Right off the bat, which I know you appreciate, and I, I think you appreciate less, but we'll find out, that I'm stunned that it's not in 3D, which instantly <laughs> made me like it so much more. It wasn't in 3D, it was in my mind. I saw Big Mama's Like Father, Like Son last night, and actually it and I Am Number Four have a lot of plot elements in common. It's the dad stepson and they have to go undercover and the teenager falls in love with a girl which throws off everything and I, it, it, they, they, very, they, they felt very sort of parallel oddly enough, although no fat suits in this one. First of all, my, as I keep adding to the, the, my man crushes, my men crushes, which are getting a little alarmingly long, this they, list. They all know about each other. Do we need to talk later? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Tim Oliphant's been on it since Deadwood. Uh, uh, Justified has only uh, uh, solidified his place there. And uh, so I'm, I'm almost into anything that he's in. I think he's great. I think he has sort of a there's, a, there's a coolness to anything he's in. And I thought he was pretty cool here, even though he's not the lead. No, I always like him. He was good yeah. in Go. He was Love good Go. in he's The Girl in Next Door. I mean, he's sort of, he's cute, but not traditionally cute. He's kind of dangerous, and I like that about him. Here, he doesn't really get to do a whole lot. No, he doesn't I mean, get to do he enough. protects Alex Pettifer, and he's just protective and no, he's serious, a little, he's a little, and that's it. Yeah, but he's, he's a little funny. They he's have a couple of moments. kind of the grumpy foster dad sort of thing, I guess. I <laughs> didn't think it sucked. I thought it, look, I mean, I didn't love it. I just didn't think it sucked. But I thought it moved along nicely. I, uh... I don't know. I was. I was sort. I guess you. you take I it. never cared. Never. I did care. I okay. did care. It mattered to me how this turned out. I. I didn't. Will his hands light up at the wrong moment? <laughs> What's going to happen? I didn't want him to die. I didn't want his. Spoilers. Hello. <laughs> no, no. I'm not saying he did die. I didn't want him to die. I didn't want. And him. usually, you want to see these guys die, right? <laughs> well, I deep just, down, uh, like die. No, please. so I could go home. And Alonso didn't care. <laughs> Um, I didn't, and I, it, it all it all felt like such uh, this blender of a million other movies I'd seen before, like the whole the 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 the, the fugitive undercover and the the pretty girl who doesn't want to be popular anymore, and the you know the the the, the big bad yeah, yeah. monster and all this stuff. And the, the 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 bullies at school. A yeah, lot yeah, of that yeah, was yeah, yeah. All that, and it's like, and again, like like the, the other movie we're going to talk about today, also full of familiar elements, but fun. And I did not have fun that I'm number four. I that. didn't have fun either. And DJ Caruso directed it. He did Disturbia, which yes. was kind of like Teen his, rear window. his Spielbergian rear window. This is kind of like a Spielbergian early Spielberg film in that you have aliens and they're in high school, but they're like angsty aliens. And it felt like and a CW pilot. <laughs> like yeah, like yeah. every week, you know, where they, the, the hot alien is going to meet a new pretty girl and they're going to have a moment and he's going to fight off more trench coat wearing thuggy bad aliens. I don't even you know? disagree with anything you guys said, except I think <laughs> that when you put everything that you guys say together, which is not even wrong, there's still a little tiny bit of bad assment to it that I think you guys are missing. No, so you like the Michael not, Bay album. I was going to say the bad aspects don't work yeah. either. There's explosions, like totally generic, big, idiotic explosions. Yeah. They blow up the whole football field because they can. But that's dumb. I got it. Yeah. Sometimes even, there even the car chase where the car is skidding on the front tires, they did that in Big Mama's house, like father, like son. <laughs> I swear to God. And they did it better. 
I kind of, yeah, it was in the daytime. I don't, so I don't care better. if they blow stuff up. I just meant like there's a moment at the end where they're cut, where, where some help arrives. And I just had a, you know, I don't care about blowing stuff up. That's really, that's literally what got me into classic movies in the first place was I'm tired of stuff blowing up. Hey, look at this. There's literally 10,000 movies that are awesome because they didn't know how to blow anything up. <laughs> so I don't care about that. There's just a moment like when help arrives at the end and I was like, yeah. And I was like, I can't believe I'm saying yeah. But that's proof that I care. It's because she's sexy, though. That's well, I, it, it helps. But I kind of felt like that, you know, we these characters that we bid, bear, there, there's two figures in the film that have gotten just sort of scant screen time. And then suddenly at the end, the big fight is all about them. So like like Alex Pettifer's yeah. almost a bystander while these other characters who we barely know at all do all the heavy lifting. And I yeah. was like, this maybe this worked better in all the right. book which is apparently written by, what, James Fry and his sweatshop of, of <laughs> anonymous uh, YA authors. Monkeys throw feces at each other. Basically, yeah. Well, no, they're, I'm sure they're poor, underpaid bastards. All right, well, when we get to the ratings here, <laughs> you'll see that our differences are, I think, actually fairly minimal. All right, uh, Alonzo, what do you got? You know, I wasn't even trying to be cute, but uh, this this is a, a solid four. Uh, so I am number four gets yeah, a four? I, yeah. Stealing your thunder, Christian? I am trying to be cute, and I give it a four. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'm going to trump all of you on uh, cuteness. I gave I am number four a 5.5. Don't. <laughs> <Da -hong. laughs> not cute at all. Um, uh, so Adorable. I mean, it's not, I just I just think it's a little. It's barely worth seeing if you're looking for that kind of sort of. I mean, so exactly. It's not like I'm raving about it. Uh, pulls the overall grade to a, a four and a half. So overall, not uh, not really a recommendation from us. And if you don't see it, uh, you're going to be fine. Although, come on, it's Tim Oliphant. <laughs>